What's up, everybody? It's Saturday. It's less than a week uh, to get this thing running. I've been waiting on a bunch of parts to come in, and a lot of them came in last night. So let me show you what I got. Okay, here are the parts that just came in. Um, got my gauges. Uh, some guy who did a swap similar to this, he put these gauges in it in the uh, his S187 SL swap Mustang. It looks really good, so I'm going to do the same. I just got to figure out the bezel and how I'm going to mount these. Um, I got these speed engineering headers out of, uh, I think they're for uh, a C10. Um, there's not many headers that fit uh, this body Mustang. The, there are long two headers that uh, Vorschlag uh, makes, but they're $1,800 and I just cannot afford it. Um, my fuel pressure regular came in. My solid state relay came in for the Terminator X. I got a um, Amazon special... Uh, oil catch can this is the big thing i was going to modify the stock shifter and cut it down and try to make it work however i'm running out of time and it was just easier to buy something um this wasn't really in the budget but you know i, I gotta get this done so um i called serial nine they're out of canada and they are out of stock with this. Uh, so I found one on Marketplace, found some guy uh, that was selling his. It's brand new. He hasn't even used it yet. Uh, but I got it for <laughs> quite a bit cheaper uh, than buying it brand new. So I ended up picking a manual uh, center console up also. He has, uh, it was automatic. Um, I got this beautiful fluid line uh, radiator three pass i believe so uh, this should not keep the mustang nice and cool i also had to get a clutch assembly so i'm going to mount that up and here is the the bezel all taken apart so i gotta figure out how to mount these but it shouldn't be too much of an issue probably just cut around that fit that in right there and then it's got a screw that you can screw on the back worst case scenario i got some plexiglass and i'll I'll make this work, but I'm not really worried about this. I got to get everything else done. So um, let me show you the suspension that is all installed. I got the the springs in. I got the new rear, uh, the GT rear end, and put new bump stops in. I got the Stadia um, rear shocks, and the front shocks are also installed. Uh, I have new brake pads coming. Uh, that will be more suitable for the track. So I am going to get started with trying to fit these headers in because there's not a lot of room and I will show you how they fit. Okay, so this is how these headers fit. On the passenger side, not too bad. I have to tr bang that piece up, which is not a big deal. Uh, I just got to do it, you know, it's a little bit to get it up to there. The issue on the driver's side is that steering shaft. It's, get a better picture. It's hitting that primary tube right there. So I'm just going to heat that up and bang with a big old uh, sledgehammer and get it out of the way that way I can bolt this up but um, these are gonna these are gonna work um, so if anyone is doing this you can get these uh, speed engineering headers uh, these shorty headers and they will work um, you just gotta take a hammer in a couple spots and then you should be good to go um, and they're 200 bucks so that's pretty cheap anyways I'm gonna get that all banged out and I will be back to show you how it fits okay so that's how much I had to beat the header I heated it up and just took a three pound sledge and went to work I also had a hammer in the uh, the tunnel trans and uh, a little bit on the firewall but let me show you how it fits Okay, so I got the headers pretty much done. Um, I had to bang that one significantly. You can't really see, but there's barely any room. Uh, there's maybe like an eighth of an inch, uh, but you have to uh, 
bang out the underneath part of this last um, runner. And on this side, this is all done too, but you have to hit bang out that top part right there. And then let me go underneath the car and I'll show you uh, what you have to do down there. Okay, so this is the driver's side underneath the, uh, the car. Um, as you can see, there's not a whole lot of room. I'm gonna have to take the header off again and bang out this area a little bit more so uh, they can fit another V-band or you know, uh, what other style connector they need to hook the exhaust up to that. Um, and over here, you don't need to do that. Uh, there's plenty of room. I buy the V-band, you definitely have to uh, bang that significantly uh, to clear, but it's pretty easy to do. Oh, man, I did not have to take the motor and transmission out, which I was uh, dreading if uh, I had to get serious with the hammer, but it all worked out. So I'm very happy that these headers fit, in quotation marks, uh, with a little persuasion. Um, but, yeah, so the C10 Ella swapped uh, headers from Speed Engineering work on the S197 Mustang. Also, while I'm underneath the vehicle... I, uh, as you know, I do have the motor mounts for the, from Vorschlag and <clears throat> I, uh, was going to fabricate a mount for the CD009, but, uh, with the time crunch I'm in, I ended up ordering their transmission mount. And now uh, this transmission mount is for a T56 Magnum XL and it bolts right into the CD009. Uh, it's uh, I'm super happy. No fabrication needed except right here. So the lines for the uh, actual mount, uh, I have, and as you can see, I did um, two little uh, center punch lines or holes. Uh, I'm going to drill these out, and then that way I'll be able to uh, bolt the, the cross member to the actual transmission. And we are good to go. So very happy with this product. It was not meant for this transmission, but it works. So if you are in, uh, interested in using the CD009 transmission and are, don't want to make your own mount, you can buy this one. And uh, with minimal fabrication, it will fit. Okay, so to get this valve cover on, I had to take a 2x4 and a hammer and beat that thing until it gave in um obviously i covered the valve train so they got in the motor so in case you were thinking that i did it and i also had to trim that mount not a big deal um uh, it's just the mount in the back i have all these other mounts so uh and i'm using the the, the one piece uh um coil brackets so that one will not matter Okay, transmission's all bolted up. Uh, I went ahead and installed the shifter. Um, I didn't film it just because there's a uh, video on YouTube from the manufacturer how to install it. So if you uh, have any questions about that, just go watch their video. But the shifter feels very, very nice. So happy with it. Dead smack in the middle. Um, so continuing on uh, to get this thing running, I need to get the manual uh, clutch and brake pedal end so over here i have my new high pressure line you have to buy a uh the fitting looks like that it, this is an earl's fitting and uh basically it's this uh male to a uh an uh dash four male on the other side so so you can Hook this up right here and then on this side this is your low pressure line that hooks up into the um, brake master cylinder that feeds the clutch master cylinder so let's get this installed so if you're going to be converting from an automatic to a manual setup uh, like i am uh, you're going to need a couple things you're going to need the manual pedal assembly the uh, clutch master cylinder is built into the pedals um, and you're also going to need the reservoir or the entire uh master brake master cylinder off of a manual car too because it has a nipple that comes off that feeds the clutch master cylinder um 
Also, when you are installing the uh, um, pedals themselves uh, on the engine bay side, there is like a, a weird film that is covered up uh, because obviously it wasn't needed for the clutch. Um, so you just have to puncture that and everything bolts right on. But uh, let me show you the pedal assembly inside the car. So here are, here's the clutch pedal assembly. This is what it looks like underneath the dash. You can kind of see how everything's hooked up. It's pretty self-explanatory once you start bolting everything together. Um, the only thing I um, have that you may not have is this gas pedal. Um, there is an option where... So basically, I had to convert this from a drive-by wire uh, system to a drive-by cable because the Terminator X... Uh, ECU that I have does not have the capability to control uh, the, th the throttle body. So I had to go to a cable style a gas pedal for my throttle body. Um, basically what I did is I had an extra FC RX-7 gas pedal. Um, I took the old uh, gas pedal and I made a template off the back and put that onto a piece of aluminum. Then I had some square tubing. Uh, I had a different, couple different sizes. I think that's an inch and a half. Um, but basically I riveted the um, gas pedal to the tubing. And then once I found the, desire, the most desirable location for the gas pedal to be, I marked it and then I um, riveted it to the actual uh, base plate. So if you look, everything is exactly where it would be stock. Um, surprisingly, that pedal works really well. Um, pretty proud of myself for coming up with that and saving a bunch of money. They do make a uh, a, a pedal for the S197 Mustang. I believe it also fits the S55 uh, 550 Mustang. So, uh, but it's like $300. And this cost me nothing because I had all the parts. So, um, in the end, they're both uh, do the same thing. They uh, open the throttle body so we can go fast. Well, uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. I am going to make this the end of this video, and I will see you in the next.